More than a dozen police officers and friends of law enforcement brought their statewide bike ride to Fort Wayne today. Fox 55's Drew Fry was there to talk with officers and survivors about what this campaign means for everyone involved. The cops cycling for survivors have arrived at Fort Wayne's Law Enforcement and Firefighters Memorial. Fraternal Order of Police President Mitch McKinney is among the local officers here to welcome the group amid their statewide trip. And this is only day three for them. They have a long way to go. And when you see them come across here, it's a good relief for them knowing that they're coming into their friends' arms and have some time to spend, have some camaraderie, share some lunch, and really honor our survivors. That's what it's all about. Multiple riders say Fort Wayne is one of their favorite stops. The reception they receive as they round this corner on Well Street warms their hearts because it's a luxury they don't get on every leg of their 13-day trip. Sometimes it's just us at the crash site next to where the officer died. Um, so you don't always get that applause. And we don't really do it for the applause for us. We're doing it for the survivors. We're doing it to the, for the officers so nobody ever forgets their name. Holly Heath is in her seventh year riding around the state to raise money for families and those who died in the line of duty. The Leo native is one of several cyclists reading the names and stories of local fallen officers. He survived by his wife and three children. Chris Tinsley showed up to listen to her husband David's story again. David died in 2018. It's hard to hear it, to hear those details, but it's also, um, I guess, honoring, you know, to have somebody remember that and, you know, to read it out loud and to honor him along with, you know, all the other officers who gave their lives in the line of duty. The theme of this bike ride, these officers will never be forgotten. As the daughter of a policeman, this is something Heath says she thinks about every time she pulls up to a new stop. When you're a child, you think your parents are invincible and you think your dad's out there doing hero work. He's your hero. You look up to him, but you don't realize that the, there's the dangerous side. And I was lucky enough to have my parent come home every single night. These riders and officers hope to never have to add another name to the memorial. But if they do, they'll be ready to support the survivors. In Fort Wayne, I'm Drew Fry, Fox 55 News. The riders traveled from Bluffton to Angola today. They'll then ride to South Bend tomorrow, and their trip wraps up in Indianapolis on July 23rd.